What's up, Fantasy Pros nerds? My name is Andrew Erickson, and today I'm going to be unearthing 10 players that are projected to outscore some big fantasy football names. That's right. We're diving right into the spreadsheets, talking half PPR unless otherwise specified. When it comes to projections, they can be a super helpful tool because they can help you understand a player's median range of outcomes while baking in their offense environment for better or worse. When stacked versus ADP, you can easily identify both overvalued and undervalued players. This intel will be key as you create your own tiered rankings and custom cheat sheets and the Fantasy Pros Draft Wizard, so you can extract the most value with each of your draft selections. Be a value hound. These free industry consensus projections can be found online at fantasypros.com slash NFL slash projections. Before I get to my list of 10 players, if you want a chance to win a signed Kenneth Walker Seattle Seahawks jersey, courtesy of bettingpros.com, your place to start betting smarter and not harder, you need to subscribe to the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel right now, comment below in this video, and that's it. We'll be announcing a winner this week, so this is your last chance. Turn on those notifications so you can be alerted when new episodes are up and claim your prize. Now, let's dive into those spreadsheets. We will start with quarterbacks. Deshaun Watson is projected to outscore Trevor Lawrence. Despite the Jaguars quarterback always being drafted ahead of the Browns QB, drafters are not accounting for Watson's rushing ability enough when it comes to his outlook this season. He averaged nearly 30 rushing yards per game last year. Among the seven quarterbacks who hit that threshold last season, only one failed to crack the top 10 in fantasy points per dropback. Next up, running backs. And Derek Brown is doing cartwheels. Tony Pollard is projected to outscore Nick Chubb in PPR. Their projections are nearly identical in half PPR, but Tony Pollard reigns supreme in the full PPR scoring format. Because last year when Pollard was the guy from week seven through 16, he ranked third in total fantasy points and yards from scrimmage on just a 58% snap share, which ranked 20th among running backs. That top three status matches exactly where the PPR projections have Pollard slated as the RB3 overall in 2023. With little competition in Dallas's backfield, the projections suggest we may not be high enough on the Cowboys' new RB1. On to the first rookie on the list. Bijan Robinson is projected to outscore Joe Mixon. The Texas running back was selected eighth overall in the 2023 NFL Draft by the Atlanta Falcons, and his fantasy football appeal is salivating. Tyler Algier, a former fifth round pick, averaged nearly 18 carries and 96 rushing yards per game from week 13 onward in 2022. The Falcons offense ranked first in early down run rate last year, providing Robinson a super high floor. However, I can't say the same for Mixon, who finished as a top 12 running back in just three games last year. James Conner is projected to outscore Miles Sanders. Nobody likes to admit it, but James Conner is one of the cheapest workhorses in fantasy football at RB24 ADP. Even without Kyler Murray last year for a stretch of six games, he averaged over 21 fantasy points per game. Conner never finished outside the weekly top 15 running backs over that same time span. Sanders' ceiling projection is dependent on if he sees a boost as a receiver, which remains to be seen given his lack of juice in that department over the past few seasons. Moving on to wide receivers. Jalen Waddell is projected to outscore Garrett Wilson. This is where projections can help a ton. It helps you acknowledge that a real-life number two wide receiver can be good, if not better, than a number one, because not all offenses are created equal. And in the case of Waddle versus Wilson, the Dolphins' wide receiver's efficiency with Tua Tunga Viola helps him win this projection battle. Waddle averaged over 15 fantasy points per game as the wide receiver seven and posted over 85 receiving yards per game with the Southpaw quarterback under center. Better than the numbers Garrett Wilson posted with non-Zach Wilson QBs in 2022. But that's not to say the wide receiver two beating a wide receiver one is the norm. As you can see with our next projection battle, as Amari Cooper is projected to outscore Devonta Smith. The Browns wide receiver one is the clear cut number one option on the ascending Browns offense after a very impressive season. He posts the 11th highest target share at 26% in the NFL with nine receiving touchdowns. He also finished second in air yard share. His 2.11 yards per route run was the second best mark of his career. Meanwhile, Devonta Smith's projection is weighing more of his range of outcomes alongside a healthy Dallas Goddard. His numbers skyrocketed after the Eagles tight end missed time. Before Goddard's injury in week 10, Smith was the wide receiver 29 overall. Christian Watson is projected to outscore Jerry Judy. There are two wide receivers that experienced breakouts in 2022, but Watson gets the slight edge with him performing at a high level as a rookie. From week 10 through week 18, Watson ranked first in yards per route run. Over that same span, Watson was the wide receiver nine in both total points and on a per game basis in PPR. 
the second year wide receiver projects as Green Bay's alpha wideout in 2023. Chris Godwin is projected to outscore DeAndre Hopkins. Two seasoned veterans are duking it out in the projection streets, with both entering the seasons accompanied by new quarterbacks. But ultimately, the projections side with Godwin in a Tampa Bay offense that will throw more than the Tennessee Titans. Godwin may not reach wide receiver 11 status like he did last year from week four onward, but a wide receiver two fantasy floor seems secure based on his forecasted receiving totals. Deontay Johnson is projected to outscore Tyler Lockett. Deontay Johnson has been a monster target hog over the past three seasons, ranking fifth in total targets. His ability to earn opportunities puts him in a position to succeed in 2023 with positive touchdown regression coming his way after he failed to score any touchdowns in 2022. Meanwhile, Lockett overperformed in the touchdown category a season ago, making him more likely to underwhelm, especially with the addition of first round wide receiver Jackson Smith and Jigba. Jordan Addison is projected to outscore Cortland Sutton. Fantasy football doesn't have to be hard. The Vikings selected Jordan Addison in the first round of this year's draft with the idea that he will step into the number two wide receiver role vacated by Adam Thielen. That role last season translated into the eighth most routes run per game. So even as the third potential target in the pecking order on the Vikings offense, Addison's rare role makes him very different from the majority of other number two wide receivers. That concludes my list of 10 players who are popping in the 2023 fantasy football projections. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to give it a like, subscribe and share with all your friends. And of course, before you go, be sure to check out the 2023 player projections over on the Fantasy Pros website. And remember, if you want a chance to win a signed Kenneth Walker Seattle Seahawks jersey, courtesy of bettingpros.com, you need to subscribe to the Fantasy Pros YouTube channel right now and comment below on this video. We'll be announcing a winner this week. So this is your last chance. Turn on those notifications so you can claim your prize. Thanks for watching.